Hello, this is the Provoke Prawn, and this is a video with some hints and tips of what to do once you've installed your brand new RTX 30 series GPU. There are some settings and some changes that you can make to both Windows and your BIOS to make sure you're getting the most out of your graphics card. I'm assuming you already know how to install a GPU, so this video isn't about plugging it into your PC, but instead the settings that you can change in Windows and within the BIOS settings to make sure you're getting the most out of the graphics card. You've paid a lot for this GPU, and you're proud of your purchase because you've managed to get an awesome looking card which will deliver you some really great gaming performance. Hopefully a nice upgrade over your previous GPU, and with my help you're going to get even more out of it as well to make sure you're maximising the performance so sit back and relax and listen as i talk you through the things that you should do to get the best performance out of your shiny new device but take a moment to look at it because it looks awesome doesn't it oh yeah it's fantastic so first step is to go into your bios there is a setting buried within your pcie subsystem settings in the bios which allow you to enable resizable bar support. Resizable bar essentially allows the GPU to communicate more efficiently with your CPU and thereby giving you a better overall performance as data is passed between the two. It's worth noting that this resizable bar support should work with the RTX 3060 Ti, 3070, 3080 and 3090 GPUs. Others may well be supported too. However, there are some caveats because you do need a motherboard that also supports it and a CPU that will run with it as well. It will then work on a number of different games to give you a CPU performance boost and an overall improved performance in, yeah, in those games. It works with Intel's 10th and 11th gen CPUs. And I'll leave a link in the description where you can find out more. But you may need to update both the BIOS on your motherboard and the GPU. The next thing I want you to do is to go into Windows and make sure that this setting has worked. If you right click on the desktop and click for the NVIDIA control panel, you'll see there's a system information button at the bottom. When you scroll in through these settings, you should find that the resizable bar support is enabled here. You'll see it listed as resizable bar and you can see that's written as yes. If it says no, you, as I said, you may need to update your BIOS for both the graphics card and the motherboard. So that's worth checking. And that is obviously a separate undertaking and something I'm not going to cover in this video because there'll be different techniques for different GPU manufacturers. Now, I'd also recommend going about removing previous drivers. You can do that with the driver display installer tool. This is a simple tool that basically cleans off any previous NVIDIA graphics drivers you have on your machine or AMD to make sure you have a clean install of the new graphics drivers. This ensures there's no conflicts and that you have the best possible performance. It's a free tool, it's easy to download, it's really simple to install. You can see the process for that here. Once you launch, you'll have a warning to say that it could cause issues. However, I have had no problems using this tool and it's highly recommended. NVIDIA themselves recommended using it to me directly, so it's well worth checking out. You can see that you have a variety of different options for removing all the different sort of aspects of each of the GPU manufacturers, drivers and things. So you're basically selecting those options and making sure you've got everything set up the way you want. It will also give you a note about using it in safe mode. So you can, if you want to be very thorough, go into safe mode in order to use this first of all and to make sure it gives you the cleanest setup. But I have just used it straight in Windows without any problems. Select GPU and then obviously NVIDIA or AMD, depending on what you're using. Clean and restart is the highly recommended option. Use that at the top. What we're essentially doing is we're getting rid of any previous driver installations and making sure that the new drivers that we install are the most up to date and have no conflicts. So we go to NVIDIA's download page, which I'll leave a link to in the description, and then you can download the latest driver and install that. I'd also make sure that you're installing GeForce Experience, and I'll tell you why in a minute. Basically, that allows us to optimize games and to do things like use shadow play and also to ensure that we have best performance. Once you're installing the GPU, you'll notice there's an option for clean installation of your drivers. I use this every time I upgrade my drivers. It just makes sure that you have a better installation and there's no problems 
it's not as good as DDU, but it does work. Now go into the desktop and the taskbar. Right click on the NVIDIA and then go for GeForce Experience. We're going to launch that and you'll need to log in. So create account if you don't have one already and log into that. And then I'll show you some settings in there that we can change to improve performance as well. Before we do that though, open the Windows Start menu and type Game. You should find a Game Mode setting there and you'll see that you can turn that on. If it's not on already, turn that on and that will allow Windows to improve the performance. Below that, there's a graphics setting as well with hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. You have to make sure you have the latest version of Windows 10 in order to do this. But if you do that, you can then improve performance again as another setting to tell Windows that you're a gamer and you mean serious business. Below that, there's a graphics performance setting and you can select the specific app from the drop down. So go Microsoft Store app and video control panel and then set it to high performance mode. Go back and then search for power settings. And when you do that, you'll then be able to tell Windows how to prioritize your power. I usually set mine to ultimate performance and that makes sure that everything on your machine is getting the power that it needs to run as well as possible. You could choose for balanced if you are worried about using too much juice. Back in GeForce Experience, once you're logged in, you'll see there's an option to optimize all the games for the best possible performance. You can also go into the settings to make sure it downloads the latest drivers. I'd highly recommend also ticking enable experimental features that and it makes sure you have the latest version of GeForce Experience and the most up-to-date features on that. Then when you press Alt and Z, you can then go into the performance settings. You'll see an overlay comes up and from there you can click on performance. You then have enable automatic tuning, which is a setting which is essentially using NVIDIA's GeForce Experience to overclock or at least run your GPU at the best possible performance that you can get. It will run some tests and then it will decide what sort of power it can give your GPU for the best performance. And this is a fairly straightforward thing to do and really hassle free. So this has been the Provoke Prawn with a number of hopefully useful tips to help you make the most of your new RTX 30 series card. Hope you found that this video useful. Quick shout out to my awesome YouTube members, Meet Your Keyboard Raw, Jshank007, Sir Spawns a lot, Jeffrey Johnson, Kraken Tortoise, Easter Bunny, D and maybe you. Thanks for watching. This has been the Provoke Prawn. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. Hope you found it useful, interesting, hilarious, or all of the above. Be sure to check out the description for other information you might find interesting and subscribe and watch these other videos as well that I think might be useful to you and have a great life.